Right. Hello folks, uh, today, well you can just about to see, uh, there's a giveaway. Um, today we're doing the Deltic, I did say I was going to do it anyway, you probably know this already from viewing the video back. Um, here's your sheet, information, inside your little pocket, There's something I love about Batman. Interestingly enough, this is the new batch, and uh, the interesting bit being that unusually you get the old packaging. Today's packaging Batman is blue and red, whereas these are the old dark blue slide along from the side. Today you have them in plastic, this is still your old poly, as you can see, there's your detailing. I've had her out because believe me she's a swine with two hands and she's an even bigger swine if you need three hands when you're holding the camera so uh, just a pause moment there you go I'll say there she is this is it's been reviewed obviously many a time I guess people have seen it on YouTube and thought ooh uh, no doubt they have uh, I mean, I thought, ooh, when I saw one myself. And I think the thing that convinced me to say, all right, then, you know, because we, we all know it's expensive, trust me. It's not as if you can get a compromise on this thing. God knows if you've been on eBay and been stung, I really do fear. I really do feel for you. Uh, to give you a visual um, comparison, this is my version of it. That's my... Lima chassis Daypole kit. It was the Daypole release of the Kitmaster version. You're looking at the motor end here at the moment, hence the wiring. That's not a little bloke or a figure of any description in there. Um, this end, can't show you anymore because my phone's on charge. This end is the cab that I detailed. So you just about make out a red seat in there. Possibly some dials on the call the dashboard um, and notable you can tell the difference because the transfer that came with the kit note how the L and the T are ridiculously close together I wasn't impressed with that but there you go it's all I had at the time so I had to go with it the plates I've added myself um, and there's a front plate too you can tell the difference with them Mine, mine's got a ridiculously lighter grey and the paler blue, the blue is uh, a Railmaster paint. There you go, you can see the difference clearly from here. Nudge her along. Um, I bought I bought this one first, and I thought, well, no, you know, if I can, I'd get this baby. And uh, luckily, Mr. Taxman came along in the summer because I was a bit uh, a bit brassic, and he came to my rescue. It's not often I can thank Mr. Taxman for much, but uh, you know. I'll make an exception in this case. And that, the thing that convinced me to buy one of these was watching uh, at my local layout, as a volunteer's layout up here at the railway station, a chap I know called Steve. He had the original batch of these. This is from the second batch that you can get a choice. You can either have weathered, as you can see, mine's the clean version. Um, I mean, it's, it's no comparison. You know, it's, uh, it's all very well to do a kit for yourself, but in the end you still think, oh, you know, I feel like I've bought three quarters here. I've got, you know, on the other hand, my old version up there, that thing I did, did only cost, cost me the best part of 40, 50 quid if you want, you know, add all the totals together. And that includes the bumped up, um, I, I bought a new chassis for it. That is actually, that can be digitalised. You can put a chip in there. Um... No lights, obviously, compared to our friend here. But uh, you know, I mean, if it's if it's going to get an out in anywhere, that that old girl will get uh, a trip on the local volunteers line. But staying with the local volunteers line, and the reason it convinced me to get this thing, I think you know, I've got to do this. I've got to do. Uh, I saw it pull up uh, a haul of I don't know six, eight coaches. Steve's uh, Steve's loco was doing it, and he says this is the only thing I've ever seen pull. You know six or eight coaches up here without having a nudge by anything else and it did no it needed no banking whatsoever the weight of the thing is astonishing it's five six hundred grams you know i was reviewing power hall there that's 
bits of the South are heavy Ocos, 400 odd grams. This thing, really, really heavy. And uh, you know that when you pick it up and take it out of the box. In fact, I could probably sit there, eyes closed, and I'd know which one of my Batmans it was, you know, straight away. But uh, what I'll do is I'll put it on pause so we can take the day pole, uh, the kit off, kit version off, and you can see this old bird running. Right, here we go. Now I'm afraid we can't follow her around the track because the camera's being charged. Here you go, strong view of the red lights coming round. See her in the distance. Buzzing through. Going past the class 70. Heading for me tunnel. Now this track that's sort of semi-temporary, semi-permanent that I've got here, so I haven't fixed it all down yet. Uh, as an estimate, I'd say it's roughly 16 to 18 foot long and about 8 to 6 foot wide. I haven't measured it round with the corners yet. But we know it's a long old track. Well, adequate enough for me anyway, trust me. I can run six rakes without looking too dark, too big or too small. This old girl was able to pull enough coaches to cover a good half of this circuit. No wheel slip, no nothing. Now as far as I'm concerned, if you can get any locomotive to do that, it's quite a feat. Quite a feat indeed. A feat of micro engineering, I would have said. Uh, what else can you add to this thing that other people haven't done on these reviews? Maybe not a lot. Uh, I have no regrets. Absolutely no regrets of buying it. And uh, I've now got four production Batman Beltics and this with it. I couldn't. I couldn't have cursed myself enough if I think I'd turned this down and never given an opportunity. I'd have sold three or four things deliberately just to get hold of this. She's that good. I've got the other I've got the other prototypes as it is, all the others are hell chance. Um well, in terms of the uh, prototypes that I want, we're now getting new things like the day pole ten thousand, ten thousand and one. Um uh, you know, there are other things in the pipeline, but to me, you know, I mean, I've, it's about the Holy Trinity. Well, I'm happy I've got this, I've got Lion, I've got Kestrel, and I've got a dark blue, no, Royal, Royal Blue Falcon. And uh, to me, this is probably the best model of the lot. You know, I mean, it's not just the best model of the prototypes, it's probably the best model. I could clearly say, probably the best model I've got on my layout. You know, I mean, you. you Certainly diesels wise, this you're not gonna find better. And uh, I mean if you need convincing, trust me, you'd you just have to go and see one of the layout and see somebody who's actually willing to push theirs the way I did mine on here. Uh, to give you an idea of the rake it pulled, you see there's these two sixes of uh, blue and greys. It pulled four of them, four rakes of six, standing start, no problem, incredible. Now we're three, we can get around, watch her do a little bit of her stuff. I idea of the lights at the back there. Truly incredible model. I know it's got an truly incredible price tag. That can't be argued with. I think as well, if if you can stretch it, I would I would be tempted to get the weathered the weathered version. I mean me, I'm just fussy because all my others had been pristine. This was going to be pristine too, and that was always in my mind. Like I said, I cancelled my my order with the NRM originally because I just I can't afford it. I just genuinely cannot afford this. Um, you know, I was blessed.
you know. So, trust me, if you've, if you've got a few, quite a few quid tucked away and you think yourself, oh, what would it go for it? I mean, you know, N-Gage modelers are lucky in a sense, in one sense. They can go out and get one of these any old time if they've got the money and can afford one. And it's, you know, 80, 90 odd pounds on hands. Just as good, apparently. Just smaller. Same thing. Lights, you name it. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it takes a decoder, quite happily. Which you'd hope with that sort of money. Fair enough. But, uh, no. If it was, if I was to give him a choice and I think, well, oh, I'm going to have one diesel. You're going to have one diesel on your layout. Make it easy. Even if you hate all the others, don't hesitate. Uh, and it'll, that'll just keep going and going and going, quite happily. Detail is stunning, and the build quality is stunning. Honestly, you pick one of these things up and you feel like you're picking up a house brick. Fantastic traction, good performance. Like I said, the slope that Steve put his, Steve pulled his up with it's quite steep I mean we are really talking quite steep and to give you an idea his uh, it, it was curved it was only about mm, three maybe four foot long and uh, the angle at which it was was well 20 degrees maybe more than that quite some uh, quite some gradient I mean we all we all work out on the basis that you do a, a certain ratio well this was a steep ratio you know, if I could demonstrate it to you very quickly, the, the angle we're talking about. Here's my flat screwdrivers. That sort of angle. And it pulled it up there with eight coaches. <laughs> Come on, you know. Do you need convincing now? So there she is, NRM Deltic. National Railway Museum. Okay, you have to order it through them and they ship it down five pounds postage but it is sent via a courier, Royal Mail don't get their hands on it. So she should be gen genuinely looked after well on a transit and uh, if there's some still there uh, hang around get one. I would. If money was no object I'd have a weathered one but no no just stick with what I've got. There you are. Thanks. Bye bye.